Right then, the last 48 hours or so, there's been some relatively disturbing developments with Cristiano Ronaldo and his future at Juventus. Um, all summer, it looked like he was on the cards to, to go to PSG. They've obviously pulled off a massive mega swoop in signing Leo Messi. But it also looks like they're about to lose Mbappe. Now, for me, a very straightforward transfer for them is to complete that sort of partnership that we'd all have loved to have seen probably a few years ago now rather than actually today. But even so, I think it'd still be quite the sensational pairing if PSG managed to pull it off and put Ronaldo and Messi into the same team, especially alongside Neymar, to see how that kind of goes down and, and what's what that team would actually look like and play like. We've all done it on FIFA, our footy manager. Does it actually work in real life? Probably not, but it'd be fun to try. Now, latterly, these developments have sort of turned towards Manchester City. Ronaldo to Manchester City. These have looked like... Just a while ago, can't remember when it was, a year maybe ago, six months ago, there was a, a link with United and Mo Salah in the paper and was like, absolutely not. Ridiculed it, not happening, fuck out of here. But the Ronaldo to City stuff hasn't just popped up, disappeared, because it was a load of bollocks. It's popped up and stayed. Now, a bit of background on, on what's potentially going on. Ronaldo's out of contract next summer, and Juventus don't or aren't able to keep paying his circa 500 grand a week. There has been currently no formal bids. Juventus said that they're not going to let him go for free and they want at least 25 million euros, which is free. The PR that you're going to do on the back of signing Cristiano Ronaldo, if anybody saw what happened with Messi at PSG, you're getting that or a version of that. Mendes has flown to Turin on Thursday to speak to Juventus. The latest that I heard on all of this lot was um, that meeting didn't necessarily go too well. Um, apparently City don't want to pay for Ronaldo uh, they want him on a free and they're willing to offer him a two year contract worth around uh, 12.8 million that's according to Sky Italia Mendes is pushing for the move which obviously means that Cristiano Ronaldo has given his go ahead on this and Juventus want uh, Gabriel Jesus involved in a deal uh, Pep apparently wants to keep Gabriel Jesus according to the independent Ronaldo has agreed personal terms with Manchester City now these are the comments from Ronaldo back in 2015 you think the money is going to change my mind at 30 years old i don't think i don't think this is going to be a problem you speak to me about money i can go to qatar they'd probably have more money than manchester city it's not about money it's about the passion we all understood cristiano ronaldo was here for a very short period of time and at the end of that period of time he left as the best player in the world uh after having won everything available for him to win in england scoring 42 goals winning the ballon d'or and absolutely lighting up Old Trafford, at least for the last few years of his time when he was there. The way he talks about Sir Alex Ferguson is the only hope that I've got that this doesn't happen. This is catastrophic for United fans. This is catastrophic for Manchester United as a brand. It's not about a player that wasn't born around here, that didn't necessarily support us growing up, playing for another team in our league. Ronaldo should understand footballing culture enough. And I think he came out not too long ago as well and said oh, he wouldn't go back to Spain out of respect to Real Madrid. So why the fuck is he thinking about coming back to England to Manchester City of all places? Now, I'm not naive enough to, to think that money doesn't talk. I'm not naive enough to think that he doesn't want to win things and he values himself more than any of the clubs he's played for. I'm not naive enough to think any of those things. But I did think there was a love for Sir Alex Ferguson that would outweigh any club loyalty. He calls him his footballing father. You see the tenderness and, and the affection that they both hold for each other with the way um, Sir Alex waited for him after the Euros. To be, forget us, like players of stiff fans in the past, right? Forget us, we don't fucking matter. And the sooner you realise that we don't matter as fans, the better. But to do that to Sir Alex Ferguson is an absolute bitch move. It's out of order on every single level. 
How can you do that to Sir Alex Ferguson? I'm actually, again, I'm not asked. The ship for me sailed on Ronaldo a long time ago. I thought for at least half of his time at Real Madrid, I was bored of the constant talks and links for him coming back to United. But even though I actually think there was something in it a few times, supposedly there was something in it just prior to Sir Alex Ferguson retiring, but once he retired, that was no longer going to be on the cards because of his love for Sir Alex Ferguson. But the love and respect that you have for Sir Alex Ferguson, you can't come and taint his legacy by going to Manchester City because that's what you do. You diminish Manchester United and by diminishing Manchester United, you, you diminish Sir Alex Ferguson's achievements at the club. This is fucking bangers. Now, is he a player that United really need? Not really, to be honest. I think he'd still be relatively effective in the Premier League. Probably still one of the you know the top five ten percent players in the league comfortably. But he's not a position that United are desperate for. If we hadn't had Cavani, that might be a different story. I could see him doing really well in that position. Uh, I can see a lot of the what he offers rubbing off on other people. <sighs> But it's not a position United are desperate for. With 25 million, Edward would have the opportunity here, right or wrong, whether it was a good investment of 25 million or not. You spent 40 million and Donny van der Beek don't even fucking play him. If you brought Cristiano Ronaldo to Old Trafford again for 25 million, the combined transfer fees that you'd have paid for him twice are less than half of what you got for him when you sold him. You still quids in. From a PR perspective, which is what this fucking football club's all about, supposedly. From a PR perspective alone, allowing him to go to Manchester City and come to Manchester United is an absolute volley in the bollocks. For 25 million and less wages than you're going to be offering Paul Pogba and David De Gea, there is no reason why United shouldn't go and make this transfer not happen to Manchester City and bring him to Old Trafford. He would actually help what's going on. And if Juventus want a striker, cool, there's Anthony Martial. It's in a bit. Chance for Tony to reignite his career. And actually, Tony's wages would half clear up. All of that. It's an absolute betrayal of Sir Alex Ferguson. Like I said, fans don't matter. But to betray Alex Ferguson like this is an absolute dick move. Absolute dick move. It would be genuinely unforgivable. Manchester United fans would fucking turn on this guy more than I've ever seen. No one ever loved the Glazers. They've just been hated. But when you've loved someone so much, to have them do this to you, because he was loved as a United player, still loved as a United player for what he did at United. Not only has that love gone, it's gone completely the other way to hate. There is zero forgiveness. And for all of you lot, think about what he did for us. Fuck you. If he signs for Manchester City, that's it. It doesn't fucking matter what he did in a United shirt because this outweighs it. You don't do that. And don't bring Andy Cole into this. Don't bring Peter Schmeichel into this. Both of those with different times, different prospects, and a different Manchester City. Let's not pretend otherwise. Dennis Law didn't relegate United, and it was at a time when footballers did not earn enough to be able to just toss it off. Dennis Law played for Manchester City before he played for United. It makes a lot of sense for him to go back to what he did in the 70s, but he didn't relegate us. This is the ultimate betrayal of Sir Alex Ferguson and his legacy. And it's an absolute sickener for United fans across the world. And it's a, a PR disaster from Manchester United to allow this to happen. And you know what? I'm surprised City aren't currently at saying that they'll pay that fee. After losing out on Harry Kane, getting in Cristiano Ronaldo, he'll do the same job. He'll, all you got to do is operate in a six-yard box. City creates so many chances, Ronaldo would score you a fucking shitload of goals. No matter what. So... <laughs> It's a no-brainer for me that Manchester City would do this. No-brainer. The PR win, if they signed him, would be worth whatever it was worth. And it would be worth all the money and all the wages and all the transfer fees that you have to throw at it. If you got him on a free, that's sensational. 
Unless this is City just playing hardball, because 25 million for them. Probably spent that on lawyers in the last 12 months. Absolutely devoted. If this goes through, devastated. Just devastated. Let me know in the comments if this goes through, and I think there is a chance this goes through. Could you ever forgive him? Is he done for you? Does it matter what he did in a United shirt before, or is this too much? Especially. Especially if he delivered the European Cup to Manchester City. Can you imagine? Get in the comments. Laters. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.